what going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asas pixel studio it's another one in photoshop okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you this free retouching panel and it's actually going to help your workflow and speed up your workflow and give you a pro looking result like this i use this um, panel to get a result from this to this so you can actually use this panel as well and it's going to give you the same result okay so first of all how do you get this panel into photoshop they are actually actions but right now it's on button mode so go head over to the description click on the download link and it's going to lead you to where the download is and you can download it and get it for yourself it's actually going to be free for the first you no know, um, 100 to 200 people and then it's actually going to be there for sale okay and also you can the password if you're actually downloading for free in the video so you can watch a video to the end i'm gonna tell the password later on in the video so please kindly if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe if you don't like the video like if you want to if you if you find the video helpful please comment and share okay so let's get started first of all if you want to download the actions or the panel you can uh head over to the description click on the download link and put in um your just watch the video and get the password for the, the um, actions on the panel. Okay, so now um, for you to get it into Photoshop, you just have to go to Windows, click on Actions, and this Actions is going to pop up. Then you can go to Load Actions, and right now I just already did mine. So this is a, this is what you get: Actions, ASAS Pixel Retouching Action Set. So you can just click on it, and it's going to bring out all these. There are 25 in numbers, and later on I'm going to keep updating it so hard to um, keep up with the important updates and also make it very functional in some cases that like the high uh, eyelashes and the, all of the rest retouching of hairs okay so now let's get started now once you get it you're gonna have something like this or something like this yeah so you can have something like this or something like that let's take it all the way up sorry this uh all right so now I'm gonna show you how to use it this actions you're gonna get something like this but I like using this you know button mode to make it look like this now first of all um, you can use all of these they are actually straightforward and but a couple of ones are hard like I did in the video um, in the actions I make sure there are two different type of actions for retouching skin and um, four different type of action for color correction I make them you no know, two three two three so as to make like dodging and burning as two or three different actions for hit um depends on the one that's actually going to fit the occasion so first of all um we can see that i want to get the right color balance so you can see color profile fix wx i'm just going to click on that and it's actually going to show me this is going to pop up now you know how we do it just going to pick the white side of the image and just drag it all the way up or somewhere around there just the white part of the any white part in the image it's gonna click on that and boom so if you want to hide it from the background you can make sure the, the and it picks it it picks the right brush for the okay for the um for the tool so you don't have to worry about so you can just you know hide what you don't need if actually you don't want it to be visible in the background you can do all of that but i'm not gonna do that anyway so it's just to correct the right lightning and right now it's too bright you can go inside and decrease the opacity you can as well go inside the group and go to this one and mess around with the you or the lightness if it's too bright and bring it back so i'm just just like that um, let's just go to the folder and it acts like white balance i'm just gonna decrease it a little bit and that's we really good okay so now um the next thing i'm gonna do is to correct the colors so let's bring this down a little bit like 50 percent and let's use the color correction okay we have the gradient color correction we have the solid color correction i'm going to use the solid color correction which is actually straightforward and it's actually going to pick a, a, a skin tone just pick where you want all the skin color to look like okay so for this place i'm going to pick um the below the nose because it's uh okay let's pick somewhere around the eyes which is um, smooth enough so it's gonna pick the right brush for you as well and set the brush so I'm just gonna paint if you make sure the foreground color is black white and because we have a black black mask okay so I'm just gonna paint you can actually leave the brush so right now I'm just gonna zoom in so you see what's going on 
in the image now the uh, the color you choose determines the outcome so you can just see what just happened in the image okay so I just made all the color in our face look the same we have before I'm gonna zoom in and we have after so this is just pretty straightforward um, you don't need to do too much on it if I paint on this skin you can look it removes the um, it just gives the right color so ctrl Z uh, I want to leave the skin out of it then always remove it from the background and from the blush area so just something like this very straightforward like I said um, you can actually use the other one which is the UN saturation I think I'm gonna dedicate a video for that for these two because they, they, they are quite um, difficult to understand and I don't want to make this video so long that it will be very very hard so um, next one we're gonna do is the I'm gonna create this invisible layer now control shift than it here and then I'm gonna run the uh, we can use any of these Acer skin retouch let's just use this one and it's just gonna create this yeah radius 15 you can choose any blur value radius you want but for me I'm just gonna click on OK because I can actually come back to it because it's, it's to create a what's it called now make image a smart object so you can actually go back inside so all you just need to do is to choose the blur value and I, I usually keep it somewhere around 0.5 or 1 you can use 1 so as you as you mess around you're going to see the effect of it if you zoom in you're going to see that we are having more texture the more you move ahead the more you have more texture in the image so to avoid all of those a lot of texture I'm just going to leave it at 1 let's just leave it at 1 to have a little bit in it click OK you can actually go back inside and mess around with it and every other thing boom so this is actually very very straightforward you just need to paint over and you can see how it's removing the blemishes as fast as so fast and so smooth okay it's just gonna remove the blemish for you and yep so you can see how, how good it is you can decrease your opacity if you also want i'm just gonna remove but i'm not supposed to remove the you know the faco so right now it's looking like that you can decrease your opacity and make it look natural to so see the effect somewhere around 93 should be fine and that's how to um, you can as well click on all of these and make it look smooth so just like that it's a very fast one so we have before and after if you don't want to use that you can let me just delete that you can use this one which is the this other skin retouch second f hairs and you just want you just need to click get a, a blur value I'm just gonna click on where it has a smooth transition and find a sweet spot for it so let's choose somewhere like um, let's choose a very high radius blur radius 3.6 let's choose 4 and hit ok and then it's actually gonna set the texture by itself and every other thing another radius okay so this is for um i'm just gonna increase the radius since we use four you can use six or seven this is for more enhancement if you want to get more smooth tone so it's actually going to turn off in the in, in the actions so now we're back with our image so you can see it's a for more smoothening so that's why we choose a very high rate blur value for that now you can see it's actually labeled in the actions yeah it's a use mixer to brush yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the mixer to brush which is already selected and every other thing is selected uh the layer you need you need to touch and you don't need to touch also it's there so let's let's smooth it up we can just just brush over the skin and smoothing all you need so it's uh, it's a very good one so you So you can just try it out you can see how smooth i'm not i'm not going to go deep into it also but you can try it out for yourself i'm just painting it rough i'm supposed to paint it according to the contour of the face uh, the contour of the face and all of that so you can smooth it and you can do so many things with it 
okay so for the texture i'm just gonna you say use the clone stamp tool here so i'm gonna select this one and choose the clone stamp tool and zoom in let's zoom in and just select hold and hold and select an area and click on it it's actually going to remove the blemishes in in the photo okay so just click on sampling areas that are closed so that's how to use this one it's actually very straightforward and that's for that so um let's create the same visible layer as we go so um we're just going to turn off all the effect we use so we know where we come from from here to here okay so there's a lot of it uh, we have gradient color correction we can use that one as well although we already color correct the image but if you want to use that i'm going to show i'm going to dedicate another video for that and we can use the highs whitening to let's see why let's whiten up the highs we can work on the leaves we can work on the high shadows a lot in the actions so you can get the actions in the description so this is just very straightforward just you say to increase the brightness so paint the highs it's already selected a brush for you so you just need to paint the highs just take a look at how it's you know it fixes the high yeah make it smaller and all of that like that you can see the difference okay so that's that's just what it does and you can see before and after but this one is more enhancement uh, if it's actually too dark you can just brighten it up and brighten the highs up it's not too much you can see it's even look more natural so that's before and after okay so for that we have lips color if you want to change the color of the leaf eyelashes solid color painting okay if you want to change the color all of these are just a tone change you want to change I, I can just you know click that one but, um, it's actually very straightforward for you to use yeah, we did it.